Hi there, I'm Vieno and this is my ninth video tutorial on D3. Uh, so we're getting close to actually being able to produce really useful and interesting visuali visualizations using D3, but I thought that before we get into the really heavy stuff, I would just show, show you some quick tips and tricks on how to work with arrays in D3 since all of our data is somehow going to consist of an array or multiple arrays uh, I, I thought this would be a good uh, point to to look at a number of techniques we can alter or modify our our arrays so uh, <coughs> if you've worked with uh, JavaScript before I'm sure you're familiar with uh, a number of techniques we can use to um, you know, like remove elements from our array, we can add, append elements, we can shift them around, shuffle them, and so on. Uh, for instance, actually, let's just save this, and we're gonna work in the console, um, in the inspector, uh, this video. So, um, if you don't know how this inspector tool works, just go back to my, I think it was the second tutorial or, or the third, uh, where we uh, looked at how this console application works. Uh, but yeah, we only have this in our documents, we have this uh, uh, simple array consisting of five elements. Now, if you were to use uh, raw JavaScript, you could do something like uh, data, which is the name of our array. Uh, shift like that and that would get give us the first um, value in the array now d3 has a number of these array functions or array yeah let's let's call them functions uh, on its own uh, so for instance let's try out uh, let's try to sort our array I mean right now it begins with 10 and ends with 50 but what if we wanted it to be descending instead of ascending uh, well we could do something like this uh, we could do data sort and then use the inherent method uh, d3 descending and we will get oh yeah we took we took away the first uh, value here but yeah as you can see we've shifted the uh, the uh, order of the uh, values in our array. Now another method would be, let me refresh this, uh, another method we could use is, and this is really useful, uh, it will be really useful later on, d3 min, which gives us the, uh, the smallest value in our array, and uh, yeah, same thing goes for d3 max data, it gives us the largest value. We could also use the extent method and that's uh, that this is how you write that and that gives us both the minimum and the maximum value in our array uh, we could do d3 sum which uh, conveniently sums up all the values uh, for us for us and the uh, the result is 150 in this case we could type d3 mean to get the mean uh, of the array which is 30 and also the median in this case they're the same and uh, yeah you know there's a lot of there are a lot of these uh, methods and later on it will be useful to to know at least the uh, the basic ones and the rest of them you can just go to the uh, uh, API reference and check it out uh, so I think we'll end with one last uh, fun array method, which is the shuffle method. And as the name suggests, this simply shuffles around the values in our array. So yeah, you can see that they are in a random order. And when we do it again, they, they're randomly ordered again. So I think we'll settle with that. Uh, this was a short video, but it's. Um, I think it's good to know this stuff before we move on. So I'll see you in the next video.